This tutorial introduces the components of the variable description page. Suppose I plan to use employment status in my research. Before I dive in, I should get to know the variable empstat. The description tab presents the way a variable is measured and might provide important links to documentation. Not only does the codes tab show you the value labels, the X's show for which samples the code is available. Some variables have detailed versions. This tab also gives case counts according to each code. The comparability tab shows me if there are differences in the variable across years that might make longitudinal analysis complicated. For example, the definition of employed varied over time in census samples. The universe of a variable is who is asked the question. A not in universe or NIU response in this case would be someone younger than 16 in an ACS sample. The availability tab shows which samples include the variable of interest. Some variables provide the text from the survey form. For some variables we've included flags to indicate data quality information. For example, if the value is imputed. Unharmonized versions, or source variables, are available for some IPUMS USA variables. Click on the source variable name to view values and labels for these unharmonized variables. The Integrated Variables tab contains a list of IPUMS USA harmonized variables in which a source variable is included. The Editing Procedure tab gives a detailed account of the Census Bureau editing procedures for a given variable. These notes are only available for the American Community Survey samples. Users should note that these editing procedures are performed by the Census Bureau prior to release of the public use data and do not represent edits made to the data during the harmonization process. We hope you enjoy using IPUMS USA data.